I need you behind me. <laughs> All right. number system based on which number do we always have to be aware of because our number system is based on that number who said that Raquel come to the mic say what you just said the number is based on 10 very good very good. That's little Raquel. She was six years old when she learned that. <laughs> okay. Now, it's based on 10. How many places are in our... What, how, how many places are in our number system in each period? How many places are in each period? each period. That was Kaya. Was that Kaya? Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Say your name first because remember I can't see everybody. Okay, name the periods in each place. What is your Oh wow, now who did that? Okay. Kaya? Yes. Okay. Can you do the, can you name the periods again? What does that mean? Infinity means it goes on and on and it never stops. Very good. Very good. Now, and that was excellent too for you, Raquel. Excellent. Both of you all. So now we're not going to waste much time. I want Shapatya to name the periods. Let's yes. start with this one. Let's start with the top one. We did it before. Okay, let's go. Yes. Let's talk about the period. You're teaching someone as if you're teaching someone. How would you point this off? The way that you are going to draw is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. You can put a comma, and then you say one thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand. And you put a comma, and then you say, and then, you, and then that's the millionth place. And then now you say one million, ten million, a hundred million. And when you write your comma, you go to the billions place, then you say one billion, ten billion, a hundred billion, and then after you write your comma, you go to the trillions place, then you say one trillion, and trillion, a hundred trillion. Then you write your comma, yeah, it, it depends on how much letters you have. In this word, we don't have two letters at the end. You can say one quintillion, one. one. Very good. Now you want to read the problem. Yeah. This problem, this problem is 23 quadrillion, 894, 94 trillion, 612 trillion. 845 million 680 80 no you got you got 688,901 okay rain what does that what does that yes. what does that that zero mean that zero means a placeholder Okay, why is it, what place is it holding? It is holding in the tens place. Very good. Come on. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Now we write the millions, comma. Okay. 
a million, ten million, one hundred million. Now we write the billion comma. One billion, ten billion, one hundred billion. Now we write the million comma. Yeah, did, did we just write the millions? Thousand, millions, billion. Did we write the million already? Now yeah. what's going to be next? We write the we write the trillion comma. Okay. One Thousand trillion, million, ten million. trillion, one hundred trillion. Now we write the quadrillion comma. One one quadrillion, quadrillion, one hundred quadrillion, trillion. Now we write the quintillion. That's right. Four hundred and twelve. Quintillion, seven hundred and eighty-four quadrillion, five hundred and sixty-seven trillion, four hundred and twenty-three billion, six hundred and seventeen million, four hundred and seventy-one thousand five hundred and forty-two. Excellent, excellent. Mama, can you remember when where we make our money? Where do we make our money? Where, okay. where, where's money? We got money from the Bureau of Engraving. Very good. Now, how much money do they produce approximately every day? How many dollars they, do they? They produce $541 million a day. Let's go fact chart. Okay. Come on. because we know we're base 10. Let's go, come on. Who else is out there? Uh, it, it's, it's the... Okay, Nadia, come on. Yes, one, two, three, four. Let's go. Let's go. So I can say nine. Take away eight. You got what? Nine is eight plus one. Nine is seven. Nine is plus two. Nine is six plus three. Nine is five plus four. Okay. Now we want to subtract. How we do? How do we subtract it? Nine take away eight is what? Nine take away eight. Nine take away eight. Is nine take away eight is one. Come on, nine take away seven. Nine take away seven is two. Come on, keep on going. Nine take away. Nine take away six is three. Nine take away five is four. And who was that? Was that Nadia? That was Nadia. Nadia. Okay. Let's go. On the right side, it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, on this side. On the left side, it's 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Okay. Seven is, seven is one, Plus 16, 7 is 2 plus 15, 7 is 3 plus 17, 17, you're talking 17. Oh, 17 is 1 plus 16, 17 is 2 plus 15, 17 is 3 plus 14, 17 is 4 plus 13, 17 is 5 plus 12. Okay, fantastic. Did everybody get a chance to go? Thirty-six. 
Let's go. Ready? Ready, six, and... You, you tell me. You, you do it. Did you want to do 36? It's 36 and 9 plus 36 is 9 times 4. Come on. And 4 is 2 plus 2. What? We're doing facts. And 9 is 3 plus 3. 3 plus? You can't do plus. You're not doing facts. You're doing fact -os. Very good. Nine is three times three. Very good. So what are we saying? Is it a prime? Is it a composite? Of a power? It's a, it's a composite. Okay, why? What? Because all the light, because all the light fact powers are the same. Well, composite means what? The factors are not the same. Composite, composite means the factors are not the same. Right. So, what are the factors? Name the factors. Three times. Come on. Factors. The prime factors. So they're not all alike. Let's okay. Let's do a let's do a power number then. Something simple. What are the factors that would give you nine? Um, three times three. Okay. So what's another way of writing it? Um. No. To the second power. Not nine, but what? What are the like factors? Nine equal three uh, three three plus three plus three. Three times. Come on. You're dealing with time. Three times three times three. How many threes do we have? We have two threes. So then how do you write that? Three to the what power? Three to the second power. Very good. That means we have two factors of three. And that little number tells us how many factors of three that we do have. You got it?